Behind me is a 1970 Land Rover. It's been completely rebuilt from the ground up and it's electric. It's essentially our hero product, but most uniquely, it's available. It's a blank canvas and it just needs someone to choose a paint color and interior. And it's kind of the only way to jump our build queue. So let me show you what's going on. So short wheelbase and a hard top. This is the most popular model that we do, which is why there's one available here. Really interestingly, and there's a few unique things around this, it is a, I guess, station wagon as Land Rover would have called it, meaning it's got the square windows here that are openable. Uh, we've also added the, uh, the sort of safari windows up above, so you get a bit more light, a bit more uh, visibility for those rear seat passengers because it does handle rear seat passengers. So this will be legal as a five seat vehicle everywhere in Australia. So that's three seats across the front and one passenger in each of the rear. Now Land Rover would have called these two seaters back in the day. Uh, legally we can't do that, but they'll have seat belts for one person on each side and be actually quite a comfortable space. I say as a six foot two person, uh, they are not a bad space to sit. So three people across the front. And by that, uh, it's important to note that with the electric conversion comes the ability to remove the transmission tunnel, meaning that that center person, that middle seat, has somewhere to put their feet and don't have a gear stick in the way of their legs. So a true five seater in a very, very short package, smaller than a lot of little hatchbacks on the road at the moment. So this has our 55 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's good for like 250 kilometers around the city. It has DC fast charging. It has an electric motor under the middle of the floor here. Um, a 200 kilowatt electric motor that <laughs> is more power than you'll ever need in this vehicle. Incredible off-road, constant all-wheel drive. The other important things, and when I say ground up rebuild, that is the complete chassis repair, all new suspension, uh, disc brakes all around. So every corner disc brakes, electric park brake on the rear because of course the electric motor doesn't have the transfer case park brake anymore. So super reliable, automatically engaging, just like a new car. Um, electric park brake, upgraded axles throughout, new diff ratios, like a much higher performance spec, obviously to handle the power of the electric motor. Cat flap and tailgate. So the cat flap's not on at the moment, but the drop down tailgate and the gas strut assisted cat flap at the back. It's already built, uh, has soundproofing all installed in the headlining, in the ceiling, um, and additional soundproofing would go on. Like I said, it's up to you, the buyer, potential buyer, to choose a colour. This has all been rebuilt, repaired panel work. You can see the straightness of these panels if you look down here. Oh, come on, focus camera. Um, so you can see the straightness of these panels. This is ready to have a top coat in any color of your choice. So all of the all of the best jaunt tech, all of the latest jaunt tech that we build uh, is in this. A few of the little details on the bench here. So things like, of course you get a dash, right? <laughs> Traditional uh, style gauges with all the typefaces recreated by us and built into modern, modern digital gauges, including things like the power draw meter, which is important because it can show you just how much regen you're getting out of your electric motor and, and battery system. Um, configured for, you know, all completely rewired from a 12 volt perspective, built in support for spotlights, um, towing, all of these things are sort of built in. Interior cabin lights, uh, sport mode on this little brass knob. Um, regenerative braking, of course, standard on all of the builds that we do. Full 12 volt system, like I said, with a, um, with a PD, running through a PDM, so no fuses and relays, or very, very, very few, uh, running through a digitally digital system. Electric braking system, so this is a Bosch iBooster electric brake booster running into those disc brakes. Um, this is all uh, some adapters made by us and re reservoirs and things to fit it into the series Land Rover. Charging system, of course, um, so AC charging for home and DC fast charging for when you're out in public. Let me get that up the right way. DC fast charging into a uh, 3D printed metal housing to support that that is then galvanized to look like the original fuel filler but is just that little bit taller. And a AC charging system, the one other crazy benefit of this um, that feels quite magical in an old Land Rover is that this isn't just AC power in so you know home charging, it's also AC power out. So 15 amp 
240 volt output, basically your electric Land Rover is a generator and can run, you know, could run a coffee machine, could charge your power tools, could run your home in a pinch um, or part of your home in a pinch, 240 volt output from the car um, to charge a lot of things. So a really amazing, this is, this is basically ready to assemble. You can see we're just really waiting on the paint color. Um, all the parts are in, you know, all the rest of the parts are in storage ready to bolt on. Uh, and once that color is chosen, and of course interior trim is chosen, then this car is ready to assemble um, ASAP. It is a, I guess, a twin to a bunch of the vehicles that we're building over here. Uh, and I might show you some of the little details that go into these. So, you know, as I said, our standard, um, I guess our standard series Land Rover package, but also with all basically the options ticked. So you can see the, the guys assembling some of these cars here. So these are also uh, similar era, 60s, 70s series Land Rovers uh, with a bunch more parts on, headlights in. These are, both of these actually are patina builds, what we'd call patina builds. So this original uh, wear on the paint will be preserved and return to the car. So we give them a clear coat and clean them up, but we don't repaint the cars, which is why they don't look uh, shiny and, and finished. But all new, all new lighting, all new 12 volt systems, you can see all new shock absorbers, steering arms. Uh, you can see, well, there's a, there's a lot of stuff because we're in the middle of working on it, but electric power steering, um, like I said, boosted brakes. Um, these are these two will be soft tops, but in every car we build, we have three point seat belt mounts, so ADR approved seat belt harnesses. Um, a little bit more detail on the braking system that is the same as in the other vehicle. Without the wheel, wheel on, you can see a bit more. So new calipers uh, and everything because these were drum brakes, but now we've got, like I said, four wheel discs with electric park, park brake calipers. One of the little details that will be in the other car too, and you wonder, well, if you've got no gear stick, how do you tell it to go forward or backwards? Um, that was, um, this is just a, a temporary version in here, but basically the hand throttle of the old Land Rover has been repurposed or re it's actually a brand new part, but it looks exactly the same, recreated to be park, reverse, neutral and drive. All the little details that we do, soundproofing all over the place, uh, invisible, but uh, all over the place to stop that, you know, stop the road noise, stop the little bits of gravel coming up, all of those kinds of things. Um, so all of that tech ready and has been pre-packaged into this car, ready to, uh, ready to go basically once a paint color is chosen. So um, let us know, it's, it's the, one, uh, the one build that we have that uh, sort of exists outside time or outside the build queue uh, normally, which is now extending uh, quite far into the future. So um, a very cool electric Land Rover. Oh, I didn't even mention. Aircon, like so. These are uh, when we talk about uh, all the features. This has uh, air conditioning as an option, um, heating is standard, and all those kinds of things. But air conditioning optional, and particularly with the hard top and the insulation in there, it is it has a performance that is really comparable to a modern vehicle. So yes, there's some you know classic Land Rover quirks, but that's what you're buying, um, and that's what you're in love with, of course. Uh, but all the other things, power steering, disc brakes, air conditioning, all of those things are possible. Plus, of course, it's an electric vehicle um, and has more power and performance than you'll ever need.